Allah Alhamdulillah Allah mungo de ma da kai nasara kan Nigeria Allah mungo de ma Allah Allah mungo de ma India ga za ci gaba da tafiya da kasar nan ya Allah ko ta ina ne Allah kar ka ba su nasara kan mu wallahi tallahi ko ko da yan wuta Nigeria da su buga wani abu na ci gaba Allah ka ba mu yan wuta nasara wallahi kar ka ba mu yan Nigeria nasara ya ka dauke mu 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 sakuwa in wa ku ku samu a rana wannan wani irin rayuwa ne ku duba yan uwan mu don Allah don annabi ganye mutun yake ko da waye ci wani irin rayuwa ne wannan kana dan talaka wai kana fari bakin ciki kana fada da dan uwan kakan kofi na Najeriya da za ta dauka kana bakin ciki kana fada da dan uwan kakan du abun da bata san da kai ba mu mu ka tura su matsayin da suke fa amma ka duba yanda ka dauke mu don girman Allah taliya 700 leda don girman Allah ya ake so iyaye musu saran su wani irin rayuwa ne wannan don girman Allah talaka be yi sai dariya ba ko yau cikin kai sai wai kai me kudi ne kana jin dadi wallahi ga munan muna gani ganye yan uwan mu suke kodawa suna ci mu farka are that is a disheartening video there by some group of northern youth burning the nigerian flag i know you all understand the significance of what the Nigerian flag is all about. And this group of Northern Youth, they burned the Nigerian flag to protest the increasing cost of living and economic hardship that continue to define the first year of President Bola Ametinebu administration. In this video, you can see the youth were seen setting the flag ablaze while bemoaning the precarious economic conditions, contrasting the crisis with enormous government spending on non-essential issues that continue to surface amid the economic crisis. Now, look at what they are actually saying. They say, we voted you, referring to President Bola Metinibu, into power. But see the situation we are in. People are feeding on leaves while you are living in an affluent manner. They added, a packet of spaghetti is now 700 naira and beyond the reach of the poor. They would also mention that Nigerians want to lose to Cote d'Ivoire at the 2023 African Cup of Nations final on Sunday was necessary to redirect the focus of citizens to the current untold hardship. We thank the Almighty God for Nigeria losing the football competition. We pray Nigeria does not win anything if this is how the country is being governed, said the Northern Youth. We are tired of everything. In as much as I may want to understand what these young folks are going through, but I don't have pity for them, especially these northern folks. They don't have any reasons to complain about the economic hardship under President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. They have absolutely no reason because the last eight years we've seen um, a continual hardship under President Muhammadu Buhari, and the northern folks kept quiet. They did not protest. They did not hold President Muhammad Buhari accountable. They did not call out his government, his ineffective government. Okay, it's clear that what they are talking about, the presidency of Bola Ahmed Tinibu, just being one year in office, and Nigerians are passing through a lot of suffering. They are experiencing a lot of suffering under the President Muhammad Buhari. But I don't think any Northerner has any right to criticize or condemn the one-year administration of Bola Metinibu, they absolutely have no right because before Bola Metinibu, there was President Muhammad Buhari, eight years in office. That was a colossal failure. That was one of the worst experiences any Nigerian can actually recount. That was a wasted eight years. That man is clueless. He has no clue about leadership. He did absolutely nothing for the country. It took us many years backwards. But get worse. The Northerners did not see anything. They did not protest. They held him in high esteem. Even when others protested, the Northerners tried as much as possible to shut others down because they feel President Muhammad Buhari is their king's man. They feel he is their tribe's man. They feel he's of the same fate with them. And that was why they kept mute and amplified the inefficiency that will happen under the President Muhammad Buhari administration. So they have no right whatsoever to talk about the presidency of Bola Ahmed Tinibu. But in the other aspect of it, everything these young men are lamenting is actually true. The high cost of in the high cost of living, insecurity that is happening under President Muhammad Buhari. But let's go back a bit. During the presidential campaign, they were actually faced with an option to choose between the character they can trust a person of competence but what did they do go and check the vote of the northerners i'm not talking about the north central i'm talking about the core north the northwest 
and the north is go and check their vote you will notice that they voted in a pattern and that is based on tribalism and based on religion they did not vote because of the character they can trust they did not vote because of competency yes of course that is true because if you are complaining about somebody you voted into office just one year barely one year into office that means you do not trust the person you do not trust his character you do not trust his competency why did they vote for him in the first place religion tribalism and that was it and that was what mr peter b was warning them that there is nowhere the northerners buy bread cheaper there is nowhere the northerners travel on a well paved road insecurity affects every one of us be you a northerner be you a satana be you a christian be you a muslim but economy affects every one of us but leadership affects every one of us now have you noticed a trend in all of this bola metinibu um presidency the people that are complaining most are the northerners the people that are complaining most are the 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 the, 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 the southwesterners why are the, the why the people in the south that did not support this administration they are not even complaining though they might be complaining but they don't come on social media to rant like the way the people who supported president bola metinibu more are complaining why they did not trust him they voted for him based on religion and based on tribalism another aspect of what this young man actually recounted is that nigeria has no reason to celebrate winning the nation cup and i think i shared with that their sentiment because looking at it the day of that final there was no light no lights to watch the tournament and you want to celebrate what exactly do you want to celebrate do you want to show the whole world that you're happy are you really happy as a nigerian are you really happy kidnapping every day high rate of insecurity inflation december people bought bag of rice for forty thousand, but now that same bag of rice is being sold for seventy thousand naira tell me how an average income earner in nigeria can afford this we are talking about rice rice is a staple food that is a basic food for every household in nigeria everybody eats rice but now it is out of reach can you just recount just use recount how many persons are going hungry on daily basis because they cannot afford rice anymore that is what it means millions of people are going hungry every day even gari that is a basic food for in nigeria people cannot afford it and you want to go and celebrate winning the african cup of nation what are you celebrating without even no light hits everywhere people cannot power their gen to use their fan because of the first subsidy that was removed there's absolutely nothing for us to celebrate and i share in that sentiment let us come home and face the reality the reality is the fact that nigerians are going through her nigerians are going through hardship we are experiencing one of the worst economic of any government i'm placing this as one because i don't even know how to choose between president bola metinibu and president muhammadu Buhari, which of them is actually worse than the other i can't, i don't even know how to play that's why I'm, I'm placing it one of them and the truth we need to tell ourselves the truth there's no need to for us to celebrate nigeria to tell themselves the truth absolutely nobody is happy the only people that are happy in this country are the politicians yes they are politicians the reason they are happy is because they've succeeded in dividing you and i along ethnic lines they've succeeded in dividing you and i along religion line when the election is near they will come and talk about religion they will come and talk about tribalisms but when elections are over they won't remember you anymore they are all united in their collective looting and that is what you and i nigerians ought to understand everyone is behind this brown they are not behind this brown because you cannot tell me somebody like the in the national assembly that is driving an suv of 160 million naira is suffering what you and i are suffering and most of you are hating these people no no they are not suffering it and until you and i nigerians rose up to do the right thing this thing will continue and the people that will bear the brunt of these harsh economic realities is you and I, not them. Thank you very much for listening. Do have a lovely day.